Hey, what's up guys, it's Jack. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. So anyways, I'm gonna do something real quick. Um, so I can do this hack with a regular laptop, but I wanna show you how mobile things are getting and how I can just hack somebody with a tablet. And so my victim again is Ira. And um, she's going to connect to a regular open hotspot. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to kind of manipulate and capture her data. Cool, all right, let's do this. Hey, what's up guys? So I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, I wanted to show you guys how easy it was to set up this little hack here. I have a what they call a Wi-Fi pineapple. And it's this little device right here. Bam! And I have my cell phone, as well as a portable uh, power bank. So this little guy, this contraption right here, this setup, I can put in my bag and can walk around and just gather all kinds of information. That's how easy the setup is. So I was just using my tablet to connect to this device so I can see all the information. Um, so how do you protect yourself from this stuff? One is two-factor authentication. I believe the safest thing, even though it seems like a hassle, is a physical key. This here is a physical two-factor authentication key. You can get this for about less than 20 bucks. Um, this one actually has NFC in it too, so you can do two-factor on your Android phone. Um, the second part is open Wi-Fi hotspots. If you really, really have to connect to those, use a VPN for encryption. Um, again, I'm not saying you should connect to those because, as you saw in the video, it could be pretty bad. But if you do have to, if it's a last resort, use a VPN on the open connection. Um, that way your, your traffic is encrypted. Um, another thing is do not autosave. Now, yeah, it kind of sucks, but um, if you autosave your connections, um, they will always be broadcasting or what they call probes. 
they would call out to your saved connection. So even if you're not at home, it's gonna keep saying, hey, where are you, home connection, where are you? And people can actually sniff that out of the air and pretend that they are your home connection and you would automatically connect to it. So do not save it. Lastly, lastly, always make sure that the website you're visiting is a secure website. So as you can tell from the video, the blog that um, Ira was on, our fake blog, was not HTTPS. You could tell by the uh, URL. Um, and because of that, the traffic was not encrypted and that's why you could see the username and password clearly in plain text. So if you're going to surf a site, make sure it's HTTPS. So thank you again for watching. I hope you guys can remember that. Um, I will show you another video eventually on how to set that up to factor authentication both on Gmail and Facebook. And um, have a good night guys. God bless. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.